And the Golden Globe goes to. And the BAFTA goes to. And the Oscar goes to. So exciting. This is the last, last uh, award tonight. Oppenheimer! Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. And Maria is C. Oppenheimer. <laughs> We live in a time where cinema is dominated by huge blockbusters that lack the depth and nuance of compelling storytelling. Whether it's a typical superhero saga or a lackluster adaptation of existing IP, originality often takes a backseat to flashy effects and predictable plots. But once in a while, a filmmaker will come along and use the budget to craft a narrative that transcends the typical blockbuster fare. Christopher Nolan from mind-bending narratives to breathtaking visuals, Nolan has continually pushed the boundaries of filmmaking. His rare gems not only tackle significant themes, but also deliver a level of quality that reignites one's belief in the fading brilliance of blockbuster cinema. Christopher Nolan broke free of the constraints of modern Hollywood to deliver one of the best films of recent years. And when the Oscar for Best Picture was bestowed upon Oppenheimer, many felt that Nolan's contributions to cinema were finally receiving the recognition they deserved. This sentiment alone prompted us to examine what makes Oppenheimer a cinematic triumph deserving of the highest recognition. Let's get started. When we look at past Oscar winners for Best Picture, we see a pattern of films that not only entertain but also provoke thought and challenge our perceptions of the world. From Schindler's List to The Godfather, these films leave a lasting impact on both the cinematic landscape and the cultural spirit. And in Oppenheimer, we find a film that embodies these qualities in abundance. Nolan's mastery of storytelling, evident in his previous works like Memento, The Dark Knight and Inception, finds its zenith in Oppenheimer. By not following the typical template formula, the film delves deep into three hours of dialogue-driven exploration, posing profound questions against the backdrop of an extraordinary era. Oppenheimer's narrative arc, expertly navigated through interwoven timelines, captures the essence of a pivotal moment in human history. Nolan deftly explores the moral ambiguity of scientific progress, compelling viewers to confront the consequences of humanity's actions. The story is absolute and focused on two parallel narratives, the scientific race against time to develop the atomic bomb and Oppenheimer's inner struggle with the ethical implications of unleashing such a destructive force upon the world. This amalgamation of personal and professional conviction adds emotional depth to the film, inviting viewers to contemplate the far-reaching consequences of scientific advancements in the face of war. Let's face it, Oppenheimer isn't a film for everyone. Its deliberate pacing and cerebral storytelling require an attentive audience willing to fully immerse themselves in the narrative. While some viewers may find the complex scientific discussions and moral dilemmas overwhelming, those who engage with the material will find themselves richly rewarded. However, there is one scene in the movie that should satisfy both sides of the aisle. The world's first atomic explosion unfolded during the closing stages of World War II on July 16, 1945, as part of a covert military project known as Trinity. Under Oppenheimer's leadership, the test involved deploying a plutonium implosion device atop a towering structure in the desolate expanses of New Mexico, some 200 miles south of Los Alamos. In a nod to Nolan's penchant for practical effects mastery, reminiscent of his past cinematic achievements such as the zero-gravity scenes in Inception or the real 747 crash in Tenet, the filmmaker and his team undertook the challenge of authentically recreating the historic 200-foot-high nuclear blast without relying on CGI. Yes, you heard it right, there was no CGI. By crafting a smaller-scale version of the explosion and filming it up close, they created an optical illusion that made the reaction appear larger than life. The result is a breathtaking 10-minute spectacle that serves as a fitting climax to the film's initial acts. Balancing beauty with horror, the sequence captures both the awe-inspiring majesty and the imminent peril of the moment, drawing its power from the authenticity of its practical effects. While some may find the absence of explosions and CGI a departure from the norm, it's precisely this departure that sets Oppenheimer apart. Hoytevan Hoytema's stunning cinematography captures the grandeur of the desert landscapes and the claustrophobic intensity of the laboratories. Central to the success of Oppenheimer is the powerhouse performances of its cast. Anchored by a mesmerizing portrayal by Killian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer, the film boasts an ensemble of talent that brings its character to life with depth and nuance. The cast of Oppenheimer delivers performances that are as emotionally resonant as they are compelling. The film's technical prowess, particularly its sound design, is a testament to Nolan's vision. Rather than overshadowing the dialogue, the sound becomes a character in itself, immersing viewers in Oppenheimer's psych. Ludwig Göransson's haunting score further enriches the visual narrative, enhancing the emotional resonance of each scene. And while the film's runtime may seem daunting to some, it's a testament to its depth and complexity, inviting repeated viewings and deeper contemplation. Christopher Nolan's direction elevates Oppenheimer to new heights of cinematic excellence. With his trademark visual flair and meticulous attention to detail, Nolan transports audiences to the heart of the Manhattan Project, immersing them in the tension and the uncertainty of the era. 
Oppenheimer's greatest strength lies in its refusal to glamorize or sensationalize its subject matter. Nolan presents the Manhattan Project as its aftermath with unflinching honesty, acknowledging both its triumph and its horrors. In conclusion, Oppenheimer is more than just a film. It's a masterpiece. It is a testament to the power of storytelling, the depth of human experience, and the enduring legacy of one of history's most pivotal moments. And in Christopher Nolan's hands, it's nothing short of extraordinary. In a cinematic landscape dominated by conventional blockbusters and shallow spectacle, Oppenheimer stands as the beacon of artistic integrity. It challenges conventions, sparks conversation, and leaves a lasting impression on those who dare to engage with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the films that shape our world. Until next time, have a nice day and take care.